In today's video, we are going to look into a method to saturate your images or your footage better than just using the normal saturation slider. So without anything more said, this is going to be a short video. So let's just jump into it and see how it works. We're inside DaVinci Resolve. And what I've done here is just I've done my initial grade. If we put it up in full screen, you can see this is the before, this is the after. So I already did quite a bit of grading, but what I wanted to show you is I still think that my footage here on my face looks a little bit flat. So what to do is I want to crank up the saturation just a little bit to make it look more natural and to look make it look better. Now, one thing that I could do is I could use the saturation slider down here and just pump up the saturation a little bit. But in my opinion, that doesn't really look that good. It looks a bit too much and it quickly becomes too much on some of the colors. So what I can do instead is a different technique. Now I can reset this node and we don't have our saturation anymore. Now, the way to make the saturation work is that we actually want to change the color space of this particular node. So we right click on this node and then we go down to color space and we say HSL, that stands for hue, saturation and luminance. So we change the color space to this node to be this particular color space. Now it's set in hue, saturation, luminance. You don't see any difference, but it's the same as when we go into the curves here that we can control the hue, the luminance and saturation, saturation and luminance for the different colors. So the way it works is, if we just go back in here, if I right click again, I can go down to channels and I can turn off channel one, which will be the hue. And I can turn off channel three, which will be the luminance. And now I'm only having channel two and the color space set to HSL. So I only have the saturation, which is channel two available. That means that when I start to dial in my lift, gamma and gain or offset, I'm only doing it on the saturation and not on everything. So if I were to take my offset here and crank it up a little bit, you will see that we start to get a bit more saturation. And if we pull it up in full mode here, you can actually see if I turn it off and on again, that we have a little bit more saturation. Now, if I turn this off, I can also do it for my gamma. So if I turn up my gamma here, doing it very slowly here, like this, and I turn it off and on again, you should be able to see that there is a slight change in my overall saturation here. And you can see we didn't turn up the gamma that much. So if we were to take the mouse here and crank it up a lot more here, you can see that we're starting to get some bending. But if we're just doing it ever so slightly, you'll get a little bit of saturation and it's much more, much more fine detailed than if we do it the other way around. Now, I put in some to the gamma here, but if I were to take some away from the darker areas, I can actually turn down the lift here. So if we turn down the lift a little bit and then turn up that was too much. Turn on the lift a little bit and then turn up the gamma a little bit more. You will see that this is not a particular good look, so we will do it a little bit more soft. But you can see that we are starting to get somewhere where we get more saturation here and less in the background or less in the dark areas. Still a little bit much, so I'm going to turn the gamma down a little bit again and lift a little bit up. But now we have a lot softer of a saturation instead of if we were to make a note before here. Zero note before, turn this one off and then call this one set slide. So we know that this is a saturation slider. Turn that up a little bit. If we turn that off and this one on, I think this is a more subtle look than this, where it starts to break all the colors a little bit more. Here we can control that it's only done around the gamma. So that is essentially a way where we can just take the RGB levels and turn them up until we are satisfied with the look. And that's an easy way to get some softer or better saturation with more control and more granular control also over where you're doing it. So that was it. It was just a super quick tutorial to show you a different technique to use saturation, a technique that I use a lot more than just cranking up the saturation slider. If you're in a hurry, of course, that's still fine to do. But I prefer to do this method as I have a lot more control over how much and how little I do it. And also in what areas I do it if I don't want everything to be super saturated. So with that said, I'll leave you to it. And until the next time, take care.